गुड इवनिंग दोस्तों बहुत से लोगों से मेरे ने मेरे से पूछा है मेनी पीपल वास्ट मी कैप्टन लेट्स हैव योर ओपिनियन अबाउट व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन इन द जनरल इलेक्शन वेल देर आर हंड्रेड ऑफ वीडियोस फ्लोटिंग अराउंड सम बाय एस्ट्रोलॉजर सम बाय पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट एंड दे आर गिविंग देयर फोरकास्ट दैट जनरली दे आर सेइंग दैट द बीजेपी इज गोइंग टू विन so what is actually going to happen i think if you look at the horoscope of narendra modi you will find there is the 12th house and that 12th house is known as the napoleonic house now gentlemen what i am coming to is a bit of astrology then i'll fix up with my general knowledge and my contacts and then give you a full picture right well the what is the napoleonic house this shows the position of saturn there and generally napoleon had the same house now what happened to napoleon he went to great heights he conquered the entire europe but then at the last moment he was defeated now that doesn't mean modi will get defeated but i'll keep this in mind when i tell you everything when modi loses i'm going to tell you all because if he's got the napoleonic house ultimately it's got to be something like napoleon napoleon won the battle of austerlitz he destroyed the entire european armies but then he lost in waterloo you remember that so gentlemen i'll come to that later now first of all as far as the 2024 election is concerned I think this is going to be swan song, a victory song for Narendra Modi. He is going to sweep the elections. Well, how many seats? People are talking four hundred. Somebody says four fifteen. Somebody says three seventy. Some of the people who don't like the BJP, they say between two ninety and three hundred ten. So, how many seats? Well, gentlemen, how many seats cannot be forecast by anybody? Let me tell you this. And if somebody is forecasting it, he is making a fool of the public. What we can see is that Modi is going to win by an overwhelming majority. The reason is that he has got a very strong wicket on which to bat, particularly in Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, and Gujarat. Now, these three states are his strong points. the way i see it and then his uh, next generation of strong points are bengal bihar and rajasthan with maharashtra he is going to lead in these states and once he's done that he's current right he's the winner right so the smaller states really don't matter like haryana or punjab and uh, uttarakhand it's the immaterial so he may win a few seats or even lose a few seats and going to make a difference he may be clean sweep but the major battle is going to be fought here now coming to the two states which i feel are problematic they are bengal and maharashtra now in bengal i think mamta banerji as per my reading and my astrological forecast has got her own legs you know she's sitting on and cutting her own legs and i think she is not in a right frame of mind she is totally disoriented and she is got a wrong connection that if i win the muslim vote and a percentage of the hindu vote i'll sail through it's not going to happen and i think she is going to lose very badly in bengal like again as i told you it's not possible for any astrologer or anybody to forecast the seats but then she is going to have a wallop and lose in maharashtra is going to be a very tough fight the way i see it as stars say because uddhav thakre is getting the sympathy factor and so is sharad pawar and i can't say anything about the other the congress of course is running off the bj is going to give a good fight and i would say today the bj has a majority of the seats 
Now there's crucial factories in the south of India and here, I don't think, I think all the stall executives, the BJP, you know, beast wicket. It's not going to be easy to win this battle in the south. But again, I'll tell you, it's not going to be like last time with a big zero. No. The beach is going to make some mark. And, but that mark is not going to be very big, but all the same, it will add to the kitty and help the BJP get an absolute majority in the House. So the BJP is going to have an absolute majority in this House. That's wonderful. I neither the support of the BJP nor against the BJP. The fact remains that the BJP is going to win an absolute majority, and I think it will be a convincing majority. If you ask me about the seats, as I've told you, nobody can forecast it. Somebody says he's going to have 400 seats. I don't know how he can calculate it. I've been a astrologer. I'm going to calculate 400 seats. I'm going to calculate 370 seats. Another astrologer calculates 310 seats. So if astrology is an exact science, it will give an exact result, which it is not. All we can say is that Bodhi is going to win by an overwhelming majority. And overwhelming could be anything from 300 to 330 or 340. That's what it means. But under no circumstances, I think the BJP is going to win 400 seats. So, gentlemen, this is the position as it is. And uh, the sad part is that there is no opposition leader to challenge Modi. Nobody. We have got Rahul Gandhi. I think he doesn't know which way the wind is blowing. And he talks all nonsense. In fact, the last... Many forced away with the Congress, the Congress has put forward, I think, is something like signing their doom, you know. So I wouldn't be surprised if the Congress adds up with very few seats. Now nobody can say they're going to win 30 seats or 40 seats or something like that. It's not possible. Or 100 seats. But I can tell you the BJP Congress tally is going to be very low. And it's possible that Rahul Gandhi may lose the election totally and be out of parliament. But there's a silver lining to the crowd, and the silver lining is that Priyanka Gandhi is going to take over very shortly. That is my view. And when the stars tell me, she will rejuvenate the Congress. I don't know. Now I come to the discussion of the Napoleonic House. As you know, Bonaparte was a great general, a great soldier. And he won all over. He even reached up to Moscow. But that's where the slide commenced down. And he came back and within two years he had to face Waterloo and he got defeated. Now, Modi has got a similar house. So my point is that once you raise to great heights, you are going to lose. And there is a possibility that in the 29th election, Modi will be cut to sides. I mean, in the sense, he's going to lose the 29th election. And it will be very badly, a bad loss. Well, I'm not a seer, a forecaster or something and make a statement that like this. But my reading is this is what's going to happen. But it doesn't mean it's a certainty. I still feel Narendra Modi is going to have a tough time in the 29th election. And this Napoleonic house, the 12th house, is going to pull him down. Well, he can get out of it. There are ways and means. And uh, I'll not discuss that here now. I will say goodbye, gentlemen. I hope you like my video. Share it with your friends and come back for more. Goodbye and God bless.